Okay, so this is the follow-up for the Spyderco Para 3, or Para 3, however you uh, say it, P-A-R-A 3, with the uh, reinforced nylon handle and the wire frame uh, pocket clip here. So when I initially ordered this, it was suggested by somebody to try it out. Um, I wasn't the biggest fan of the concepts and looks of, of Spyderco knives, uh, mostly I had an issue with the blade and then the giant hole here in the blade, um, you know, I, I had concerns about spending money on something that I, I thought potentially I, I could end up breaking a lot easier because that's a, a giant stress point here in the steel. But um, I went ahead and I purchased this and I gave it a run for about three, three and a half weeks. Uh, and I'll tell you, I don't like being that guy that's a, a naysayer about something and then they try it and they're like, oh my God, I love it. But uh, for sure, this knife, the Spyderco Para 3, uh, definitely changed my opinion on Spyderco. So I, I'd never had one before. I'd just always seen them. I'd always seen people raving and ranting about them and I just didn't get what the big deal was. But then again, I had I had authentic Benchmades before and I, I absolutely loved them, the way they functioned, the way they were put together, the way they cut, the way they stabbed, all that kind of stuff. So um, I guess when you really split that hair, there, there's, there's a line there, uh, you know, in the modern popularity of things with knives, Spyderco and Benchmade. So I guess I was on the Benchmade side, but now I'm, I'm on both sides because uh, this knife really turned my concepts around. I mean, I've been using this thing every single day for the last three, three and a half weeks now. And uh, I am genuinely disappointed to put it back in the box and move on to something else. Um, you know, my I, my six points that I normally try to hit for my my judging of knives, this one ranked real high across the board. Um, functionality, weight, uh, I even changed my mind on the aesthetics of the knife. Um, you know, the way it fits in my hand is great for what it is. Uh, the weight to it is it's not too heavy, it's not too light. I thought I was going to have an issue with the reinforced nylon grip here being just like uh, cheap flimsy but it is it is solid man it's solid like a rock and again I really love that wireframe pocket clip there so uh, sharpness this thing has stayed sharp like you wouldn't believe um, sharper clearly they, they use a a proper knife steel not like some of the clones that I've been um, trying out here recently but this thing is still sharp as I'll get out um, I, I use chemical containers that I have to clean and, and remove all um, uh, markings on them for labels and puncture the bottles. And this knife turns those those hard HDPE plastic bottles, it just, it turns them into, into Swiss cheese like nothing. Three weeks in, I've been cutting all kinds of stuff with this tape, plastic, rubber hoses. Uh, we had a, a rig go down on one of the trucks that, that burst at the top and right underneath the spray gun was spraying products and we, we had to cut the hose. And I mean, this thing cut through it so clean and so fast, uh, the, the guy let use it, it was a shock to him right away. So, and I mean, I've used Benchmades before and they really functioned like that. I just didn't, uh, didn't ever give Spyderco the time I feel like I now feel that it deserves. So if you're gonna buy a, a Spyderco, uh, the, the Para 3 is a, fantastic knife that has changed my opinion uh, 180 degrees from my initial thoughts on this brand and these knives um, I will more than likely purchase more of them in the future when I have the time and money uh, as for this one um, hopefully I'll be able to keep it around and later when I'm done doing knife videos or just as a secondary or you know third airy carry uh, I may just keep this one with me uh, or I may end up just selling it off and buying other knives to do these videos. So my honest opinion for the Spyderco Para 3 with the reinforced nylon grips, I'm giving this knife a 10 out of 10. I, I could find nothing wrong with this knife. Um, aesthetically, I have really grown to appreciate something, the big fin here on the back that I thought I didn't like before. Uh, the grip, the, the way it's shaped, the belly here, I love that. It, it fits just right on my fingers. I have an awesome 
grasp on that that's not going anywhere the pocket clip um, never never really deformed out of its shape um, which was great because I've had some knives lately where the pocket clip has been deforming out of shape away from the the, the grip of the handle it gets caught on everything it's still very sturdy and I mean like nothing loosened up on this whatsoever the blade is still incredibly sharp it uh, it I have no resistance with most of anything that I'm cutting it's still top notch it's a little dirty i've been using it a lot um functional uh, functionality is fantastic aesthetics is fantastic um comfortability in my hand the weight of it and the functions uh very smooth i i can't do the flick like some of you guys do i practiced it and i cut myself so i stopped practicing it so i didn't look like a like an idiot cutting myself all the time but it definitely with the thumb that hole there just quick and easy I can't find a single thing about this knife I don't like. And that's that's a big deal for me. Uh, I'll take the, the hit on the chin and say I was wrong. And uh, this is me giving Spider Co. Uh, the respect I feel that they that they deserve. So again, Spider Co. Uh, par 3. I would definitely say this knife is worth just about every penny I put into it. I would have liked to have seen a, a lower price point but i've been told by some people I, I might have overpaid for it but i'm not i'm not sure i'd buy this knife again 100 percent buy this knife again so if that helps you guys um decide if you want to get one of these or not uh i used to i have a, a clone for a, a bench made bug out that i've been carrying in my back pocket as a secondary carry just to have with me i'll probably i mean if you guys see my other videos i absolutely love that knife that knife was awesome versatile uh easy to carry easy to pack easy to take no weight to it i'm probably going to remove that and put this in that back pocket if i don't sell this to buy more knives so if you guys have any questions if there's anything in particular you'd like to know about this uh this knife or if there's other knives that you want to see me um buy and test i've had a, pe a few people send me some notes in, in the comments about them and I've purchased a few of them. Uh, the next knife I'm going to be working on or working with is uh, ZT. Um, I don't have the specs on it right offhand, but that'll be the next video that I do here talking about this one. It was uh, suggested by another person who watched the video, so I'm going to do that next. And then I have a couple other suggestions um, from a couple other people who've watched the videos that I'm um, I'm getting ordered in and, and shipped to me. So, uh, you know, if you like the video, I, I could definitely use a subscribe. I always appreciate those. If you have comments, I like talking to people, I like seeing your guys' opinions and your suggestions. Uh, just let me know. Anyways, thanks for watching.